U.S. Speaker of the House Mike Johnson will invite Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to address Congress. Mr. Johnson, who leads the Republican-controlled House, told CNBC they are trying to work out schedules. The news comes as the relationship between Israeli leaders and leading U.S. Democrats has grown tense. Top Senate Democrat Chuck Schumer has called for Israeli voters to replace Mr. Netanyahu, who he has deemed a barrier to peace talks in Gaza. I would love to have him come in and address a joint session of Congress, Mr. Johnson told the network on Thursday. We'll certainly extend that invitation. He added that he had personally been invited to address Israeli lawmakers in the Knesset, calling it a great honor. Mr. Schumer, who is Jewish and a supporter of Israel, delivered a 40-minute speech on the Senate floor last week calling for Israel to hold new elections to replace Mr. Netanyahu. He criticized Mr. Netanyahu and his conservative government for his handling of the war in Gaza, saying he has lost his way and argued that he stands in the way of peace between Israelis and Palestinians. Mr. Johnson on Thursday criticized him for those remarks. To suggest to our strongest ally in the Middle East, the only stable democracy that he knows better how to run their democracy is just patently absurd, he said. In response to Mr. Johnson, Mr. Schumer's office released a statement saying he did not object to an address by Mr. Netanyahu. Israel has no stronger ally than the United States, and our relationship transcends any one president or any one prime minister, Mr. Schumer said. I will always welcome the opportunity for the Prime Minister of Israel to speak to Congress in a bipartisan way. Mr. Johnson's comments on the invitation come a day after Mr. Netanyahu delivered remarks behind closed doors to Republicans in the Senate. Mr. Schumer turned down a request from Mr. Netanyahu to speak to Senate Democrats, saying any address should be done in a bipartisan fashion. Mr. Netanyahu last spoke to the U.S. Congress in 2015 when both chambers were controlled by Republicans. He used the opportunity to criticize then-President Barack Obama, a Democrat, for pursuing a deal with U.S. allies and Iran to curtail that country's nuclear program. Mr. Netanyahu's possible address also comes as an aid bill for Israel appears to have stalled in Congress and as Israel prepares for an operation in Rafah, a city in southern Gaza that Palestinian refugees have fled to. An Israeli delegation is due to visit Washington to discuss the planned assault next week, according to U.S. officials. They were invited by President Joe Biden, who has attempted to discourage Israel from going through with the operation, in a recent call with Mr. Netanyahu. Mr. Biden, who is running for re-election in November, has come under political pressure from his party's left wing to do more to convince Israel to limit its war in Gaza, which began when Hamas gunmen stormed into southern Israel on the 7th of October, killing about 1,200 people and taking more than 250 others hostage. More than 31,000 Palestinian civilians have died since the war started, according to the Hamas-led health ministry in Gaza. The death toll has drawn international concern and condemnation. Kindly like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments section.